Hey guys, I just want to do a little update. I got my big 3000 watt good tie inverter today. This is actually a different system here. This is my battery system. I get about 400 watts. So my battery's at 13, 8, 19.6 amps coming in from that system. Like I said, this one is a battery system. This inverter up top here runs my television and all my modems and stuff upstairs. This here is actually micro hydro amps. It may not be anything because the brook's almost dried up. But yeah, uh, 0 0.03, so micro hydro's slow now. Alright, let's go outside here. I want to show you a little something. I uh, got that 3000 watt grid tie inverter in the, in the mail today. I hooked it up to the the last video I showed you was 18 panels out on my rack. I have all 21 of them out there now. You can see I got the two rows of the nine. Then I got the three going across. These are all 150 watt panels. Wind turbine just stopped. I just got the camera out. That's usually what it does. That was going like crazy a minute ago. Here's the big inverter. This thing is humongous. You look on top of it, I have a small 250 watt grid tie inverter. I just set that up there so you can compare the sizes. You got my gauges here. Right now I'm pushing a little over 50 amps. Uh, 35 watts I guess a little more than 35 my panels are wired in parallel they come into this DC disconnect I have this little fusible link I'm going to add into the positive line also my plans are to keep this inverter outside I have to build a weatherproof enclosure for it because I don't want this thing in my house I get the camera close enough you could actually hear the inverter working. So from here I have 10 gauge wire, direct burial. Goes all the way over to the house. Of course I haven't buried it yet because I'm not sure how this whole system is going to work. But it goes over to the house and into an outdoor outlet. It just plugs into that. It's kind of a shame we couldn't get that windmill turned in. but. Most of you guys have seen it turning before. So. Now we're going to go over to the meter inside of the house. This meter runs my house, which is this house here, and then this small house. They're both off the same meter. The small house here is a rental property. Hopefully, we can get this on video. The meter. The meter's going backwards at a pretty good pace right now. Which is pretty impressive for a little grid tie inverter that plugs into your wall socket. I've only had it hooked up for a little while here. I've been checking out all the wires, make sure nothing's getting too hot. Right now I just basically have it set up as a temporary thing to make sure that it all works and make sure I don't have to pack that inverter back up and ship it back to where it came from. Alright, so that was the meter going backwards. Hopefully the camera picked it up. These are my other panels. These are the ones that go to the battery system. Three DIY panels, one 90 watt panel on the end there. Those are just sitting on the ground. And then I have some other panels up here on the roof. Of nine 15 watt panels. And one 80 watt panel. In the background. You can almost see, I don't know if you can see the windmill back there or not, but it's actually spinning now because 
I went around the other side of the house with the camera, so it started spinning again. And down in the brook here, look just to the left of the big tree. You see the micro hydro down there in the brook. Maybe I gotta go to the right of the tree. Just to the right of the tree, you can almost see the paddle wheel. Alright guys, I just wanted to update you on that new grid tie inverter. Thanks for watching.